Welcome to today's video, everybody. Today, my goal is to have the S15 done, finished, on the ground, driving under its own power, out of the door. Um, we literally have pretty much nothing left on it except two major things. The first thing being a trigger wire from the Link ECU to my relay setup for the fans, which I've already started trying to figure out here. The other thing is the hydro setup. We're changing to Skyline rear knuckles. We're going drums on the back with four of the two pot Skyline rear calipers that came off like the 32 GTRs all the way up to the 33, 34 GTTs and GTSTs. These brakes are epic, but that's pretty much it. We just got to get all of this on the car with the hydro and a little bit of wiring and we are done and I'm confident we can do it today. So my first job for today is to get the fan trigger wire sorted out. I'm hoping I can just tap straight into the old O2 sensor here because there's actually an auxiliary output here as well as an A and volt input here to the Link ECU that I can use. Plenty to take this plug off and just put like a nice Deutsch plug there. Um, but I'm gonna work at it, see what we can do. Uh, the relay setup that I have is generally designed for a temperature sensor that would like be in your radiator hose, but I wanna use a Link ECU to trigger the fans on and off um, just because that's a much more better way to do it. Like we've got the link, why not use it? And we can do some cool fancy stuff with it when like aircon comes on and control fans a little bit better. So that's why I want to use a link ECU and run that through there. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to get onto that and we just got to do some stuff on the computer and whatnot to make that happen. But before we do, I do need to introduce you to someone. This is my friend Khan. He's helping out at the shop for what, like four months before you start uni? Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna kind of be like my PA personal assistant. He's gonna be helping with a bunch of merch stuff and store stuff, as well as just like tidy up stuff and just little other things. I wasn't kidding when I said that this year I wanna ramp things up and obviously having Khan, even though he's only gonna be here for the next three to four months before uni starts, it's gonna take a huge load off me being able to focus on all the cool content that I really wanna focus on making. I'm also in the process of hiring a full-time mechanic for the shop, so that's gonna really help get the projects underway and things kind of just like pumping and going and flowing, just how like I've been envisioning everything to go for the last, uh, I guess, year or so. It's, it's crazy how quickly the channel grew and how quickly all of a sudden my time was stretched insanely thin where I was really struggling to juggle everything. So I think being able to get Khan for the time, for the interim, being able to help out until I can find someone to replace him when he starts university and stuff is still gonna help out so, 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 so much. Um, but yeah, get excited guys. Obviously this means more growth for the channel um, in business, just in general. If you don't start hiring staff to offload things and delegate things and stuff like that, then you'll never really grow. So that's how I'm looking at this. But yeah, I'm gonna get started on wiring. Khan's gonna start getting knuckles and brake stuff sorted out. Let's get into it. So I've got a trigger wire kind of just like laid out here for temporary purposes. Um, I've got it in the auxiliary output from the O2 plug that's here. Um, and it's just running into the relay down there. So it seems to be working right now, but I found a problem. So it works, like the ECU, if I use the test function here, it can trigger the relays on and off. We can hear that. All right, so we'll turn those back off. But here's the problem that I'm facing right now, is the auxiliary outputs are grounded when the car shuts off. So when I turn the key off, the fans are turning off. So, and then when the keys are back on, the fans shut off. So I don't think we can use that auxiliary output. Um, I'm gonna do some research and just check, but I believe that there are certain auxiliary outputs that are grounded by the ECU when the car shuts off and some that are not. Things like injectors and stuff like that, I think. So I'm just gonna do a bit of research, read my handy Link ECU quick start manual um, and I'll figure it out. But I'm sure it's just gonna be really simple and we should be good. So I've been busy working on the trigger wire. Now at first I was hoping to just use a auxiliary output, but I quickly learned that auxiliary outputs when you turn off the car are, act, are grounded from the Link ECU, right? Um, and the relay system that I have requires a ground trigger, just like things like injectors or the boost control solenoid. So the best thing about the Link ECU is they have expansion ports on them and I have all the connectors and everything and I ran a wire to a spare ignition um, auxiliary output, ignition five here. And now this can trigger the fans on and off.
All right, that was test mode. But then, hang on, let me save this. If I turn the ignition off and the car completely off, the fans shouldn't turn on. Perfect. All right, problem solved. So in the Link ECU, if you require a ground trigger that doesn't get grounded when the car is shut off, um, then what you need to do is make sure you use either ignition or injector auxiliary outputs. So yeah, I can get that finished and wired in now and we'll be good. So I'm just waiting for the car to warm up right now to see how quickly these fans will cool down everything. Um, I have it set to come on at around 87 degrees, I think I set it to. There it is, there it is. So the fan's just turned on. Battery voltage is stable on the ECU, so we know the alternator's doing its job. Dude, the hot air that comes off that. That is insane. So they turn on at 87, and they shut off at 85. So there's a two degrees like hysteresis and they leveled out and it dropped down to 79. Dude, these fans are efficient. That's crazy. That took like what? Oh, by the way, Riley's back again. What's up guys? How many seconds was that? 13. 13 seconds. I think, roughly. That's ridiculous. They're like running for like 13 seconds and they bring the car down by pretty much, what did it bring it down to? Like, oh, like uh, seven degrees, seven, eight degrees. Went on at 87. No, uh, 9. It went down to 78 or 70, 79, I think. Jeez. That's good. We're running a little rich right now, so we definitely need to get this thing on a dyno and finish, like, sorting out the idle and everything. Actually, I might be able to just, you know, fix that real quick right now. All right, we're looking pretty good right about now. All right, it's about to turn on again. Are you counting? That's ridiculous. So it shuts off at 85, but it still keeps going down. 80, 79, that's ridiculous. Dude, I'm hyped. I don't think we're gonna have any overheating issues with water, that's for sure. Dude, you feel it from the front? You just stick your hand in here when it goes off. Yeah, Han was leaning over and he was like... No, it's, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Dude, I'm really excited about this. These guys are so hyped. Oh, I just love how neat everything looks in there. The relay box, everything looks so good. I'm just waiting for these fans to turn back on. It's gonna take a while, like it's gonna, it's gonna go. I mean, we're at temperature right now. Hang on, we, that means we should make some turbo noises. Can you hold this for me, Khan? Let's make some turbo noises. This is why thermos are so good because you can control them and make them turn on at certain intervals. I'm gonna be setting this up eventually where only one fan comes on first and then the secondary will come on once it gets a little bit higher. So it's a little bit less of a shock to the alternator. Um, and then I'm planning to have a third fan on the oil cooler just to rule out any issues so I can hot lap this thing if I need to. But when you do thermos correctly and you actually make sure you have an alternator that can power them, you can tell that the car kind of like, as they shut on, uh, as they turned on, the alternator took on the load, so there's a change in idle there. Which, by the way, you can set it up on the link so that it reacts differently with that. But when that shut up, turns on, the alternator can handle the load, and there's no stress to anything else on the car. Like, checking the voltage, you could see that there was no, like, blip or anything like that in voltage. It was stable. 
So that's why like you upgrade everything, alternator, wiring, make sure everything is rated for taking the, the I guess the amperage and the draw of the current. But anyways, I'm excited about that. The next thing is knuckles. <laughs>
and put it all back together. I literally had everything together. We're going to start again. So, don't forget your axle spacer. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> this is why we had to redo all of this. For that. For that. Let's get it. Man, handle this. Does anyone else have problems with their axles? They're the most awkward thing. Oh, we got, we got, we got. She's in the hole. That sounded bad. Anyways, let's finish this. A few moments later. Well, I'm at a road stop. I can barely function. It's 12.01. It's, it's the next day. <laughs> I'm supposed to go home and edit this. Um, I've hit a big roadblock. Um, I went to put the cables in for the handbrake and realized that I can't get these in without taking off the exhaust, the tail shaft, and potentially even the diff, uh, which is a huge job to do on the floor. So I'm just going to go home and think about how, how I thought this was all going to happen today. I'm, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> no, but for real, I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. And when you start making mistakes, like forgetting axle spaces and forgetting that this was supposed to also go in first and I should have done that when I had the tail shaft out. Um, yeah, I think it's time we went home. So I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna go home. We've got the knuckle mounted, the plate on here and everything that we need to do. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm at Yasho factory, but I'm gonna spend as much time as I can the following day and get this done. I want to have this car driving and it's it's killing me that it's still not driving right now so i miss this thing and then i'm sick of making videos about getting this thing back on the road so we're gonna make it happen thanks for watching i don't really know where i'm going with this video but i'll pick it up where we pick it up and i'm confident we can do it today